Okay, here's my continuation, part two of the replacement of the tinsel wire of my loudspeaker using this this soldering wick as my tinsel wire. So right now on part one, I showed you how to remove the terminals. Now I will show you how to solder this tinsel wires. Ah, I'm sorry, this the soldering wick inside. So now I'm soldering it. Let's see if it will okay perfect perfect okay there it is maybe I will just cut a bit a bit this because it's so long okay and the second soldering wick mm -hmm. it's a bit dark Know if you can see it in the video, but I will solder it inside. Wait, I'll just add some a bit more soldering lids. Okay, <clears throat> solder it again. Hands are shaking. God. Hey. Got it all connected. So what I'm gonna do now is a uh, wait. Let's measure the resistance to a reach or ohms. I'll set it to. There it is. We got our mm, let's just it on that mode. I think you can hear that sound. Test it. Okay. okay. Header resistance. Oops, wait. Had a problem with this tester. Okay, zero ohms calibrated. Let's test. Okay, we got four ohms in here. There is four ohms. Okay. What I'll do now is to solder this two leads in the terminals where I'm gonna need the soldering pump and the solder the terminal. Okay, nice and clean. Other side. Okay, nice and clean again. Move that and cut this wire. Just perfectly the size of the holes. I'll just. Put it inside, pull it up, on the other side also. Put it inside and pull it up. Ok, 
Okay, then let's just arrange it on just the perfect position that it will not be stretched or call it stressed on this movement. Okay, it's good enough. Let's see Move the cover again. Move it tight. Okay, and we'll just see. Okay, I think that's good enough. Perfect for me. Okay, what I have to do now is to solder this terminal in here.